I want to talk a little bit about chain building and building your second transition. So I have a couple examples here, and the first one is this. So if you have a blue yellow coming up, here's our chain. As soon as you set off the yellows, it's going to be a big chain. Just to show what it looks like, something like this. And the reds get left over. So if you have a blue yellow, you could extend your chain. And maybe the most natural looking way to extend it is by doing this. But now you're kind of stuck. Like the best you can do now is probably put a red and then you set up the blues. And you have a chain. But it's really hard to turn it around again here. Like you would need three of the same color or two of the same color. And then you would have to keep getting that color. And then you would need to stack up pretty tall. And then this part's pretty high up, so if you want to keep building, like if you want to block this off and put more of that color, it's tough to get up there with and use this space anywhere because, like, you can't really do this. So you kind of have to do something that's probably going to be a bit inefficient and, like, just put stuff there to fill in the space. So it ends up being kind of inefficient. So actually, what you would want to do is put it like this instead. So then you can set your chain off still, and it's a lot easier to extend because now you don't have to go all up, it, up and around anymore. You can just go this way and do this. And there's a lot more space to work with and to add extra links in. And you can add the last red. So a really important idea is understanding like how you can do the side connections on your second transition. So here, like Probably the one that people tend to see most naturally is you block on the top and then you put the pe put the color and then you set it off. But if you can block it on the side, like here, the yellows are blocked on the side and then you put the yellow, then a lot of times that leads to a form that's easier to work with and extend off of. And another trick is that you don't have to place the yellow immediately, so something that'll happen if you're not um, thinking about the different options is that you just try try to force a yellow here, or even in the other shape, you try to force a yellow to be here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a yellow. You can put like a different color like this, and then put the yellow after. And here, because it's blocking on the side as well, you can put the yellow here too. And then set it off. So, so it can make it tough if you're always trying to force the color in. So like you might get a bunch of... Maybe like you're not getting a yellow for a while, so you're just looking for a yellow because you think this has to be yellow, but it doesn't actually have to be yellow. You have other options. And then again, it's probably better to connect it on the side like this. And then in this case, it doesn't have to be yellow either immediately. You could do like this. So that's the first example. And here's another similar example. So especially if you just regularly build GTR, the most obvious way to extend here. So it's probably like this. When you set off your chain, it looks like this. So you put the yellow here, and then you connect the greens. And that looks tough if you want to extend because you need three of the same color, and you also need another green. So like, 
even if you do get three of the same color and you're trying to extend, then you start to run out of space. And this, this part's higher again than this part. So if you try to build up to this part, you're probably going to have to waste some space here. And this has a very similar idea as the previous example, but you could connect on the side instead of on top. So even here, if you just put a yellow here and clear the greens, that works as well. And then this solves some of the problems that the other form has, where now you can build flatter. You don't have as you don't have that same like height difference anymore. So this part is lower now. So you can use this space more easily and extend like this. So like in the previous in the previous example, it was higher up, so you couldn't really put stuff here to connect, but now it's lower down. So you want to make sure that you always see how you can connect on the side as well as on top. I think most people naturally see connecting on the top, and then they tend to miss connecting on the side. And, and then, like, a, connecting on the side usually has those benefits where it's lower, a lot of times it's more flexible and easier to turn around, where you don't have to, like, get a bunch of specific colors. And even in a situation like this, the other idea of you don't have to, like, people generally want to force the color in, but it doesn't have to be that color. You can put a different color and then put the color on after. So that helps you be more flexible and sometimes it helps you create attacks or counters higher up and deal with cases when you're just not getting a certain color. And you can take this multiple levels like this. And you can use all kinds of different forms as well, like this. And then you can keep building. And so again, what most people only tend to see is the top connection. So you block on top and you place it on top, and they'll miss the side one. And even if you were to have a setup like this, if you weren't getting any yellows at all, if you see the side connection, you can connect the greens and connect on the side. So there's a lot of different ways to do things like this, but you really want to make sure that you can see these side connections as well. And that you also know that you don't have to place the color immediately. Anyway, that's all for this video.